So we are live on Facebook now for Awesome Arms. For those of you on Facebook, do give me a little arm symbol so we know you were here. That'd be great. We are going to start off with our dumbbells. And again, what weight is appropriate for you? Okay, so we will be using dumbbells and bands today. So just keep that in mind. I got things on my screen that I need to. There we go. All right. So palms are going to be forward, elbows slightly in front of your hips, slowly curl up, and then slowly curl down. So I want the same speed going up and down. So notice the body, it's staying still. And again, go to a pace that you can control. So if you feel like your body's swaying, excuse me, <coughs> um, slow down. You can also lean up against a wall, put your back on a wall, really make sure you isolate those muscles without that momentum. All right, so working those arms. So right at the moment, you're pretty much going straight forward with those dumbbells. So go down to where your elbow's straight without being locked, or again, what's comfortable. Notice those wrists are straight. We've got a couple more like this. And last one. All right, now I want thumbs to the outside. Dumbbells down by your weight, so you're slowly gonna lift away and then release back. Slowly lift away and release back. So I just want you to feel shoulder blades move and release. Shoulder blades move and release. So for me to talk and do that way, not gonna happen. All right, so let's go. Here we go. All right, so now I want you to go parallel to the ground, bring it down, just go halfway. Bring it down. Alternate parallel to halfway. So as you go to that parallel, think shoulder blades back. As you go parallel, think neck relaxes. This halfway one, that's just shoulder blades moving. So it's kind of giving you that prep so that as you go to that full range, that parallel, boom, the shoulder blades already know what they're doing. So thumbs stay up toward the ceiling, elbows are staying bent or slightly straight, but they're not moving from whatever angle you've given them. Ooh. All right, last set here. And release. All right, go ahead and grab your band as we hit that tricep. So you're gonna put your band in one hand, and then you're gonna put that hand on your shoulder. And you're going to grab onto the band. So if you have a weaker band, you're welcome to double up the band as well. Elbow points behind you and slowly straighten that arm. And so think about straight wrist, relaxed shoulder, push it straight, let it go. Push it straight, let it go. So you work on the back of that arm, right? Again, think about shoulder stability, shoulder blade stability. That's keeping that elbow in place. So you feel it back here. Push. Push. Again, how straight do you go with the elbow? One, how quick, what's your range of motion with the resistance? And you can maintain alignment and go straight without being locked. Two more. And release, switching over to the other hand. So hold it with the band, hand, band with the hand, and grab on, elbows behind you, head a natural extension of your spine. Take the first few to figure out where do you need to hold, where do you need the hand on your shoulder so you have uninterrupted motion. So press out and release. Straighten the elbow and relax. So again, neck is out of it, right? Right. So you're controlled on that release. That's again, where we're stronger. So if you go a little bit slower there, that's really gonna help you get gains faster. Okay, most people just let that release go. So we're missing half the workout. So we're really focusing on that. We got two more. And release, shake it out. All right, now you're gonna take your band. It's gonna go across your palms. You're gonna hold on, elbows in at your sides. We're only gonna move one hand, so you're gonna rotate out and then bring it back. So keep tension on the band. So if that's not enough tension, you walk it in a little bit. 
and bring it out. Again, if you are hooked into a anchor point, you can continue to use that. You're just rotating out. Just in case you don't have an anchor point, I'm demonstrating this variation. So this shoulder, if you don't have that anchor point, is getting a lot of stabilization work here. We're working into that rotator cuff. All right, two more. You should feel the back of that shoulder blade talking to you. And then shake it out. And then we're going to reverse it and do the other side. So again, hand is solid. Elbow in at your side. Rotate out. Rotate in. Rotate out. Rotate in. Take your time. Again, think about that elbow that's moving. It stays in place. So it may be in at your waist, depending on how you're built. It may be a little bit away. The goal here is it stays still. So you're working that resistance. Think about the wrist staying straight. We've got three more. And really shake it out. All right, let's go back to your dumbbells, back to your weights, whatever they are. Tony balls. Okay, so palms are going to face 45 degree angles out. And now you're going to lift up to the outside of your shoulder and then down. Lift up to the outside. So you're hitting a different angle on those biceps. Again, think shoulder blades are back. Long, tall spine. Got a little bit of bend in your knees. And you are breathing. Slow up. And again, what pace works for you so that you can control? And again, if you see that body swing, you feel that body swing, slow it down. Quality versus quantity. Yeah, two more. All right, and then your hands come thumbs forward. You're gonna, from here, lift them up. Again, neck stays relaxed, and then slowly release down. So I'm gonna talk with one. So as you're lifting up, think shoulder blade slides down your back, and then release, slides down. So full upper arm should be parallel to the ground at the top. Elbow may be a little bit higher, or arm may be a little bit higher, just because of the slight bend in that elbow, right? Nothing ever gets locked out. So you're doing both arms. Check in with your neck. And again, think hands should be coming up shoulder width, maybe even a little bit wider. And that helps you keep relaxed across the collarbones here. Whoa. Avoid throwing the toning ball at the cat, the computer. Good. We got three more. One. Two. Last one, and then we're gonna go back to the band. So again, if you're holding on to it, you're just gonna have one out in front. You could also sit and put the band around your feet. If you have the anchor point, you can do this standing. So what works for you? But I want you to be able to have something set out there. All right, so slowly one arm at a time, you're gonna pull an elbow back and release. So elbow is currently touching your side, currently down and in. This is what it looks like if you were from the front. Pull and release, pull and release. You're anchored, pull and release, pull. Okay, so getting used to that general motion. Now I want you to bring your elbows up to about a 45 degree angle. So 45 degrees. Somewhere around there. Whoop, one arm at a time. Again, think neck and shoulders relaxed. Get that shoulder blade to move in a little bit, but the neck is being relaxed. That's the most important thing. All right, next fun bit. So stagger your stance if you need to. 
you're gonna pull, you're gonna twist, you're gonna straighten the arm as much as you can, then slow on the release. Other side, you pull, you twist, you straighten the arm, keeping the wrist straight, and release. So you're gonna get that band straight, or that arm straight all the way all the time? Not necessarily. Oops, twist, release, pull, twist, release. So we're gonna get into those triceps now, but you also have to stabilize the shoulder. All right, if you've got the components, you can do it all in one fell swoop. One fell swoop. Again, what works for you here? Doing it from sitting, doing it from standing, doing it from the anchor point, your choice. All right, we're almost done. All right, and then just do a few pulls where both arms are together and release. Pull both arms together and release. Bringing you back into symmetry, back into balance. And then you are done for today. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being here. Here's your hand. How many, how many minutes is it? Uh, that was 10 minutes. Oh, okay. That's quick. It was good. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. you. You're I'll welcome. Blow my ball up tomorrow. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.